In this tutorial, we're going to use the Site Setup panel to add a logo to our website. I skipped over that initially when we went to the Site Setup panel, but now I'm going to go back and revisit that and add the logo. Um, so I will open up the Site Setup with a Command 1 and go back to the Home tab here at the top. And down in the bottom half of the Site Setup, we have options for Logo and Favicon. And so I will choose the logo option first and checking that enables you to either drag an image into this box or use the file browser through the choose button here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to choose and that brings up my finder here and under the documents folder in my projects folder and then the, the uh, folder for the, the project here. Um, I'm going to go into the images and I have a image that I've called logo and so I'm going to select that and then you see that in the box here in the preview and it doesn't dynamically update in preview mode through the site setup so we're going to have to go back into edit I'm going to close this first go back and edit and then preview and now we have a logo added. Now this is going to vary from theme to theme. Diff some themes will have a specified logo size um, and you will need to follow um, based on that. But for this specific theme it allows me to stretch to use a logo as wide as, as the um, header area here. So I've done that. I've created my image to be the exact width of the header and then um, and then the height as well. If I remove, I don't need this title anymore. And so if I go into the site setup again and simply uncheck title, that will remove the title from the header when I re preview. And so now we have something that looks pretty much exactly like the website. The um, Because I've incorporated the title of the website into the image itself, I don't need that title option anymore. And so now I've just got the image and it fits exactly based on the width and height of the header for this theme. So like I said, you need to check um, the uh, documentation for the third party themes if you're going to use one of those as far as what size logo it supports. Some of them may let you stretch something across the entire width of your header. Others may define a square size or a smaller size and you need to, to, to define your logo based on those dimensions. But it really is just a simple as selecting that through the site setup here and choosing the image and and um, just you know a, a normal JPEG will be fine. Um, it is a good idea to optimize your your image for the web if you use something like Photoshop to do images. Um, that way you're using it because header images are usually large, such as this one, and so it's it's best to um, size those um, as far as file size is concerned, so that they don't take a long time to load on slower connections. Um, for people that are browsing your site. So um, it's a good idea to optimize your images all over your website, but especially a, a header like this, which is larger um, in particular. So um, that's the logo. And I'm going to go ahead and, and um, go with the favicon in this tutorial as well. A favicon is an image that appears in the address bar next to your browser or next to your website URL. And um, in the case of Rapid Weaver Classroom, I do not have um, one defined it would appear here where this globe um, is is right now but I believe that real max software actually has one to find if we go to their website let's see if one appears click around yeah there it is popped up as I as I browsed this um this kinda this teardrop um, that, they, that they use this is their favorite con so they've defined that and that's all it is, is it's an extremely small image, um, and, th and that's defined in the site setup. So let's get back into Rapid Weaver by selecting the favicon, just like the logo, it's the same, um, basically the same steps involved. And I again, I have an image selected here in my images folder. Now this is specific for the favicon. It needs to be of, a f of the format .ico for icon. That's what Rapid Weaver is going to look for. As you can see, all of my JPEG and GIF images are grayed out in the ping file as well. They're grayed out because um, the favicon specifically needs a file with the extension ICO. And so I've created my image for that. And this actually will not be the same image that I use in Rapid Weaver. This will be my company logo. 
um, and we'll see a preview of that. It's very grainy because it's extremely small, but um, if I select to open that, then it now appears and we can see it's, it's quite small in here. Um, but that's the size that, you know, it won't be any bigger than that in the address bar, so that's just how I sized my image. Um, and so we can't see that specifically in the, in the preview here, but um, if we preview in browser, I believe we'll be able to see the favicon show up. So let's try that. Let's, let's preview in Safari. And it's going to export the page. And it may not work in, um, in this case. We might publishing, publishing online will be the way to, um, to actually see that favicon appear. But there's not anything directly in the Rapid Weaver um, application that shows you the favicon um, for the website. But if it's in, if it's in the site setup here, selected then that that will assure you that it that it works because um, it will only accept the ICO um, file extension for that image so um, that is just a way to further customize and have some fun with your site I really prefer to use header images opposed to um, just plain text for titles but that but um, that is sometimes easier or more difficult depending on the theme you're using but um, if you would like to do that then um, using that logo and favicon um, options in the site setup is the way to go. So that will conclude this tutorial.